He only has one week to plan the ceremony in Key West. Robert? Hi, this is Donnie Brown. I'm the wedding planner. One of Meryl's best friends is singer Robert Hatcher, who she met on America's Got Talent. Robert's on tour in Germany, but Donnie wants to surprise Meryl by having him meet the bus. Yeah, we're trying to arrange for a flight for you. I need you to come to Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Next up, Donnie tries to locate a venue. I have a couple that wants to get married. As the bus rolls into North Carolina, Donnie has an announcement to make. Okay, guys, we have a little surprise for you. I want you to look right there. I'm so excited that Donnie got Robert Hatcher here. All the way from Europe, he was touring in Germany, and I couldn't believe it. He's just one of those people that you just see, and they just brighten up your whole day. It's pretty cool. Robert, how about singing and being a groomsman with us? That was really nice. Uh, I would be honored. When we met Robert Hatcher, and when I first heard him sing, and I said, I want him to sing at the wedding. It's like really incredible that he's that you have him here. Thank you so much. After a slow start, it's a little small. It's small, and we're on top of each other, so that's difficult. Tomorrow is Meryl's dress fitting, and she can't wait to see what Alberto has come up with. Robert Hatcher decide to celebrate their night off the bus. Yeah. So me and my girl Sandy, we went out on a night of town in Miami. We went to about five or six different clubs. Sandy drunk about 14 to 16 drinks. <laughs> Sandy was supposed to be downstairs a half hour ago to be ready to go to my dress fitting for my wedding, which is in two days, and she's not here. I'm going to her room. Sandy? I'm sorry. Sandy, you were supposed to be downstairs a half hour ago, and I'm late for my dress fitting now. You're supposed to be my maid of honor. I know. I slept in. I'm what do you mean you slept in? What were you doing? Like, I'm, I'm going to blame it on Robert Hatcher because he made me go out last night. No, it's not true. Well, obviously it was, and you made your decision. Sandy, you're fired. You're not my maid of honor anymore, okay? You just overslept. This happens to people. It happens to people. No, it happens to you, Sandy. It doesn't happen to people. Take the other elevator. So, Meryl just fired me. You made maid of honor. Whatever. Seriously, I'm like 10 minutes late. I wanted to give Sandy a chance because I felt like it would mean the world to her, but she can't handle it. It does mean the world to her. She's crying. If it meant the world to her, we wouldn't be a half hour late for my dress thing. I don't even have shoes. Wait a minute. Oh, really? Because you're never late? It doesn't matter. I wouldn't be late for your wedding. Wait. We have for two days until my wedding. We have no shoes. I haven't seen my dress. You can take it. You can take the job, Sarah. We can. We have to go. Girls, enough of this. We're going. We're going now. We gotta go. We're half hour late. Let's keep our eye on the front. Back on the bus, Sandy is still upset about losing the Maid of Honor title. I just want to get out of this stupid bus. I really, I mean, honestly, I think that Sandy really needs encouragement. She needs, of all things, she really needs you to support her. And I know you're under a lot of stress, honey. I know that this is a lot to handle, but she is brokenhearted over this. Like, she, her sense of self is ruined over some like this. She broke my heart, too. She broke my heart, too, Laura. What? I'm just really shocked right now. Why? Is because, that you? No, because she went out with me. Um, and now she's not the maid of honor. Well, it's, so it's I feel not like your fault. fault. It's not your fault. She's got a track record with this. How are we going to stand up there with each other and everybody mind? If she can't be the maid of honor, I don't want to sing. Yeah. I'm getting married in two days, and my whole wedding party is falling apart. It's just not fair that they're blaming some me. I don't know if I'd ever do this again. I loved it, but it almost killed me. I love you, girl. I love you. so much fun. We had a great time. You know, there were some rocky roads along the road trip wedding, but I think this was definitely worth everything because we had the most incredible wedding, and we couldn't have asked for anything better than this.